So we're going to get started and welcome some of today's guests. Janet Street Porter, Ronan Keating <laughs> and Laura Anahan. Well, you know, I've never heard an audience no, no. scream at Janet Street Porter before. <laughs> First up today, <laughs> the social phenomenon that is Twitter. Now, if there are any of you out there who regularly tweet, you'll notice that Alan Titchmarsh is a tweeter. But I can tell you, I am not. It is not true. There is an imposter in our midst. And I'd just like to make it clear that it isn't me, and whoever it is, can you please stop doing it? Now, Janet, <laughs> this is, I know, a subject that's close to your heart. Yeah. Here we are. This is today's Daily Mail. You've written extensively about it. In fact, you call tweeting a tidal wave of drivel. Why? Most of the people who do it seem to think that they uh, want to tell everybody, you know, at utter banalities. <clears throat> and in the article, I say that the English language is such a wonderful language, and to reduce it to a hundred and <coughs> oh god, I'm choking. One hundred and forty cuffs. Yes. Sorry, one hundred and forty characters is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's just so bereft of adjectives of description. You think we had Shakespeare and we've come down to this. Yeah, and the most important thing is that Janet's accent does come over <laughs> in Twitter, <laughs> either. Ronan, you do you tweet? I do actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do. What do, I mean, you what do you tell people? Well, it's great for, inf for getting information across. You've got an album coming out. You You're know, selling stuff. product. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Absolutely. That sort of thing. You're using yeah. it to flog things. Your things. But that's, that's yeah, where it works. That's, that's how it works. And, yeah. and I understand that. I don't understand just regular tweeting, you know, I'm going to the toilet, I'm going... I don't get it. <laughs> right. There's a few people in the audience yeah, well, today would quite yeah. like to... <laughs> well, you know... But you know, for that sort of thing, but it works. when you have it, it's like you've made a club and people can find out what you're doing mm. and they, they want to buy your music, so that's logical. I mean, what I talk about in that article are the people who are just like a compulsion yeah. and it's ruining their social lives. So if you remember four or five years ago, you'd go out for a meal, you'd talk to your friends, what happens now? You're sitting there and they've got their heads down. <laughs> and that's true. Glory, you don't do it up as well. Well, no, I don't. I mean, I mean, categorically, I just I can't... I can understand people like yourself selling your album or, as I think I mentioned in the show, Alan Sugar allegedly selling a quarter of a million books. That's when it works. Yeah. But uh, just on Sunday last, I was watching two of my grandchildren and they're, what do you call that thing where you're actually tweeting in live time? Talking in live time. Oh, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you know... In Messaging. Well, yeah, whatever it is. But, you know, instead of talking, they're actually speaking in real time on these machines. And I I think we're here for lunch. Let's yes. talk, you know, put them well, away. Well, I think they should be put down at the table. <clears throat> there's other things.